Well, thanks for the opportunity, everybody. My name is Doug Shard. I'm Director of Product Management here at Komori. And uh, as usual, I put too much information in the slide, so I'm going to have to kind of go quick. Um, so hopefully we'll have some time for questions if any come up at the end of the presentation. We'll talk a little bit about the GLX series press. That's our, our most automated and fast offset press. Next slide, please. And it comes in a lot of different configurations. Um, the one at the top, that's called a reverse printer. It actually prints on both sides of the sheet without flipping the sheet. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that in a bit. Um, there's also a GLX straight or convertible perfecting. All these presses are rated at 18,000. They're 41 inch, you know, very highly automated. Um, you know, all the, the state of the art technology is on these. Okay, next. So a lot of people are curious about the RP or the reverse printer. This is what it looks like uh, as a sheet path going through the press. And as you can see, it doesn't flip the sheet. And when it does that, you know, if you're, if you're doing packaging on two sides of the sheet, there's a, quite a bit of advantages you get from that. And they're listed here, but you know, some of the big ones, obviously you don't need a tail gripper um, for the flip. So you can run smaller sheets. You don't have to center work. Um, which means you lay them out just like a straight press. So if you've got to share work through the press, um, that helps. Um, you don't have to worry about sheets with uh, sheet length where you got a back trim or anything like that. So it does solve some of the challenges that come with a convertible perfector. And it's a very versatile press. All right, next, please. Now this slide happens to show RP configurations, but it really also is a message about are straight presses or convertible perfectors as well. In other words, they are available in a wide range of configurations. Lots of units down below, maybe two units, um, double coders, stubs in between, print units after coders, all that's available. Kamori is willing to work with you on pretty much all the configurations you may, may have in mind. And you can kind of customize a press for different markets that, that you might be addressing. Okay, next. So now to get down into some of the uh, technology on the press that's available and how it can help today. Okay, next. So you're gonna hear in the new advertising on Komori or, or you might even have heard it or seen it already is what's called an advanced series. And what this is, is um, a solution in terms of advancements on both feeder and delivery to help with stock handling through the press and really specifically difficult stock handling. What we're trying to do is get the speeds up and the trips down and just overall improve the, the flow of the press to, to get more production out of it. Now, under each one of these, there's listed just a few points. We you know, literally ran out of room, but there's a lot of other points on, on each of these components that help with this. Uh, some of them are pretty significant, but Anyway, you'll start hearing about this. It's coming in standard on all our equipment now, and um, it should improve the performance quite a bit. All right, next slide, please. So one of the things that um, is everybody's after today is, is obviously improved performance on press. And when a workflow allows you to do it, um, and what I mean by that is if you have enough jobs ahead of time where they're plated and ready to go, you got your stock and your inks, you can pre-program up all those jobs to run without the press stopping in between the jobs because the press will know the sheet counts it knows the sheet information knows the ink sequence knows what to do uniquely for each job to get it ready to run and then run at which point when you're into that flow the press really doesn't stop it there is no reduction in time between jobs it's an elimination of time between jobs so you, you really are turning the print process into a manufacturing process at that point. So the, the press has all those abilities and features to, to do that type of workflow. Okay, next. So, and then in the make readies themselves, we obviously try to want to try to compress the time. And we do that with a feature on Komori called parallel control, which is simultaneously doing a, a series of functions. So the words listed on the left of the screen uh, those are all things that can be done simultaneously. And, you know, there's a lot of ways to do a make ready. Um, I picked one of the ways. And usually it's linear, which is shown on the top screen. So all those steps can be compressed down into a much shorter time frame because we're doing a lot of things at once. 
Now, the little bit that where it shows, you know, save time, that time really depends on what you're doing uh, and how you're doing it. But the essence of when you're compressing the time by doing simultaneous functions, the non-productive time is minimized, which, which is obviously a key issue today. Okay, next. So that's great when you have those type of jobs, but there's other jobs where you might be changing inks uh, on one unit or even all units. And sometimes the color contrast will be large, you know, from maybe from black to white or black to yellow or, you know, blue to yellow. And you're, there's a risk of contamination. So obviously a, uh, color washes are in need and there's even a way of automating those. And it, it's, we, we have a feature where we actually put an additional washing system in that's designed to spray a surfactant solution onto the rollers that is developed to pull pigment out of the rollers. So by doing that, you can reduce the amount of time you're spending washing rollers, but really more than that, you're lowering your risk of contamination, which then results in waste and extra time where then you gotta wash up again. Okay, next. So anyway, that's available as well. Um, and then obviously with everything I've spoke of where things are going a lot faster, where the run speeds are higher, uh, make readies are quicker, you still got to deal with loads coming in and out of the press. And, you know, the GLX is available with automatic nonstop feeders and deliveries. But this particular slide shows another option we have available, which is a double or even a triple delivery. And what essentially how that works is as one delivery is filling up, the press will switch and deliver to a second delivery, giving plenty of time to take the load out and get a new skid in on the first delivery. And it just gives you a lot more time to deal with the loads. Another way of using it is with a camera inspection system, where if a camera finds a defect in the sheet, and I'll, I'll talk about this a little later in the presentation, um, those suspect sheets can get routed to an individual load uh, for inspection and sorting afterwards too. So it's just a way of literally sorting your load as you run. Okay, next. And then obviously pile logistics plays a big part, both in elevating the press to get more capacity in on feeder and delivery. And incidentally, on a reverse printer press, you have a lot of feeder capacity. Um, but this is all available and there's lots of configurations that can be done. This is just one example that is shown here but you can even tie the uh, feeder and delivery together where uh, pallets are transitioning between both of them automatically. Okay, next. So I think a, an important one for, for packaging is obviously waste reduction. And one of the ways we do that is with our pre-inking program. It's called KHSAI. And it, it does have a self-learning function in it. And part of the reason I put this slide in because we've had it for a while, but it's, it's hard to demonstrate learning. You know, it's, it's easy to show you what the result of the learning is in a demonstration, but it's really hard to show the result of learning. So the picture on the left is what actually happened where we let the machine totally learn by itself. Without getting into a lot of details, the taller pile on the left, that was 12 jobs that were run <clears throat> and the press had no pre-inking information at all. It was a new installation. We, we started the press up and it had no basis to know where to open in keys at all, not even from pre-press. Um, so anyway, that was 12 jobs. So that, that's everything it took to get all the jobs into correct density and, and run. The second pile is the next day where we ran 14 different jobs. And you can see the difference in pile lights. That was a result solely of the press learning. And that's how, how much it improved in the pre-inking program. And the third pile was after a week where we, we did some other things with the press. We had a training class, um, put those same 14 jobs back on. And you can see we even saved a little bit more. I don't expect it to go down much after that, but still that's, that's what the machine has saved itself without any you know, people entering any data in. So the, the text on the left shows some other things we have in there, which is, uh, you know, things like some sophisticated inking programs for light coverage, which is the tough stuff, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not just about reducing the waste. It's also about reducing waste on difficult jobs. But this is a very, very effective pre-inking program for us. And with the cost of paper and board these days, it, it's important. All right, next. 
So another feature we have, it's called smart feedback. And this is, you know, when things that shouldn't happen, happen, which is either an ink up that's too light or too heavy on a job. And now I, I happen to show a very heavy coverage job because it's easy to see on the screen. But where this is really powerful is on a light coverage job. And it doesn't have to be overall. It can be just a few ink keys that are high or low. But if they're significant, the press will go through some special uh, adaptions using other tools besides just opening an ink key. Because when we open an ink key, you got to wait for the ink to come down. Well, there's enhancements we can do to that to speed that whole process up. So either whether you, you ink up heavy or you ink up light, and like I said, it shouldn't happen, but it's real world, sometimes it does. Um, you can actually rebalance that out in anywhere from 20 to probably 60 sheets. It's a great feature for speeding everything up. All right, next. Um, there's also a way that we use for managing running waste. Because everything I told you up to this point was about make ready waste. There's also camera inspection system for running waste. And these are actually photographing every sheet and they are detecting any changes in the print, whether it's uh, hickey scratch, whatever. Uh, but it's also managing your ink keys. It's, it's also looking at the color bar and reading the densities and, and adjusting ink keys as you run. So really you're getting out a load what you want rather than something that somebody may miss. Okay, next. Okay, there's also things we did for long-term efficiency, next. And that's really about data up in the cloud. Now, I'll go very quickly through this, um, but this is about production data that press gathers anyway. It can send it up into a cloud. You can access it from really anywhere you want, but more importantly, if there's a problem on the press or a service issue, because the press records that, if it crosses a certain threshold of severity, we'll get notified, we can call you, find out what's going on rather than uh, you living with the problem longer than you should. Okay, next. And this is really about the long term because this is a, a, a data capture that we give back to you in, in graphical format where you can see how the press is doing over time. It's not just about production reports, but it's whether you're improving or declining. And if you're declining, what we can do about it. Okay. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Hopefully I made it within my time period. Thank you very much for your attention.